Hey, good evening, everyone. How are y'all? So I'm going to do a group reading. For those of you that this reading does not resonate with, then this reading is not for you. To those of you who this reading resonates with, and y'all feel this reading, it was meant for you, okay? Because I'm being pulled to do a group reading. There is going to be at least one out there that this reading is actually for, okay? If not more than one, there's going to be the least will be one. So let's see what we have in store. this reading here okay so um let me see yes 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 okay I'm picking up a uh like a spiritual dream um for somebody out there um one of your loved ones who are in the heavens um is trying like to contact you like through your dreams. Maybe you have dreamed about them or something. Um, or maybe you had dreamed about something um, from way back in the past. But they're definitely trying to connect with you through the dreams. Um, they're asking you to believe. Okay, when you when you waken from this dream, you see how she kind of gets sits how she's sitting up in the bed. Looking like, you know, did I just dream that? They're asking you to believe, okay? They're asking you not... that. This is like a... They're asking you not to um, fear the contact that they are trying to get in touch with you. Um, not to be, you know, scared of it. To open yourself up to it. To believe. Not to make that mistake. To just, um, like, oh, that was nothing, you know. Or that was just a dream. just a minute so they're trying to warn you about something um they're trying to warn you about uh somebody has changed in the night um somebody has changed the person who they are and they're asking you to um don't drink that poison okay so actually and that's why you got the, uh, not, don't fear, because they're trying to warn you. Of this person right here, okay? Your loved one is trying to warn you that somebody has changed. Somebody that's around you has changed, and it's not for the better of you. And not to drink that poison. So they're asking you to, uh, to do things the right way. Your ancestor, you see, that's going to represent like your ancestor coming to you in a different form for you to receive that little piece of mail right there, for you to receive that message from them. And you're sitting here, you know, kind of in disbelief. But that message is there for you, okay? So 
It's also asking you to find a lesson in that. And um, what that is telling you is once you take care of this person who has changed in the night and you don't feed into their bullshit, you go on and just get them gone. Um, need to find a lesson in it so you don't return back to the same situation again, okay? Um, but at least one of you out there does have a loved one that's on the other side that is um, trying to contact you within your dreams. They're asking you to please believe in it. Um, they're asking you to um, look at the person that's close to you. If you see some change, open your eyes to it. Don't drink their poison. Learn the lesson out of it so, so, so you're not going back into the same situation, okay? So, wow. Let's pull these cards, and I want to do it for the... The group reading also. What are we trying to tell? Our loved one. What are you trying to tell your loved one in their dream? Big happy changes. Uh, no need to worry. Listen. This is the second time that they have told you. Listen to your intuitions, okay? Don't worry. Listen to your intuitions. Big happy changes. Success. So, those of you who maybe had a dream or something, whoever this resonates with is going to understand this reading more than I understand it or more than anybody else will understand it, okay? Um, if you resonate with the reading, just hit the like button. Um, and peace, love, and light to you.